Dear students, hope you are fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. Welcome to NIBS Home School. This is Muhammad Imdadul Haq, Assistant Teacher of Mathematics, National Ideal English Version School, Deshift. Today I am going to take a math class of class 1. Our today's topic is word problems. Today I will solve three word problems. Let us start. Our first question, Ronnie has five story books, Rumi has three story books. How many story books do they have together? As the word together here, it means we have to find out the total number of story books, what they have. Okay, let us start. So we can write Ronnie has. five story books then Rumi has three story books if we add these two we will get the total story books Therefore, we can write total. What will be the total? Ronnie has five story books. It means that at first I am showing five sticks here. One, two, three, four, five. Then Rumi has three story books. One, two, three. Now count this together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, if we add 5 and 3, total will be 8 story books. It means that they have, therefore, they have 8 story books together. So we can write our answer is 8 story books. Then come to the next question. Next question is Thomas catches 5 fishes. Kobita catches 7 fishes. Who catches more fishes and how many? It means we have to find 2 questions here. At first, we have to find who catches more fishes. It means that we have to identify the person who catches more fishes. And our next question is how many? It means that how many more fishes? So, we can write here as seven fishes is greater than five fishes. So, you can write, therefore, Kovita catches, seven fishes means Kovita catches. So, you can write, Kovita catches, more fishes. Now, we have to find out the more number of fishes. For this, we have to write Kobita catches seven fishes. Then we have to write Thomas catches. five fishes then if we subtract the fish of Thomas from the fish of Kovita we will get the more fishes
if we subtract 5 from 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 now we have to subtract 5 1 2 3 4 5 so how many left only 2 1 2 so if we subtract 5 from 7 here will be 2 so we can write therefore Kavita catches two more fishes. So our required answer is as question is in two portions, so we have to write the answer in two parts. First part is Kavita. Then second part is two fishes. Now go to the third question. Our question is mangoes fall down due to storm in Opu's house. Opu picked up six mangoes and her sister picked up eleven mangoes. How many mangoes they picked up all together. All together means we have to add these two mangoes. Okay? Now let us start. Opu picked up six mangoes. Her sister picked up, it means that sister picked up eleven mangoes. If we add these two, we will get the required answer. Now, here is a two digit number, but this is a single digit number. So, at first we have to add one's place with one's place. If we add 6 and 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and remaining 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So if we add 6 and 1, it will be 7. Now go to the tens place. Tens place is only 1 here, so this will be 1. So we can write total 17 mangoes. Therefore, we can write they picked up 17 mangoes all together. They picked up 17 mangoes all together. This is our required answer. So we can write answer 17 mangoes. Okay, dear students, we have solved three word problems. Now, remaining three word problems, these word problems you have to do at home as your HW. First question is, Rumi has four balloons. She is given two more balloons. How many balloons does she have now? It means that you have to add four balloons and two balloons. You will get the required answer. For the next question, there are three bananas with Reja. His father gave him seven more bananas. How many bananas does he have now? It means that you have to add these two to get the required answer. Question C, Lisa had eight, to eight toys. She gave her younger sister three toys. Then how many toys are left with her? Here the word is left. It means that you have to subtract the toys of younger sister from the toys of Lisa. You will get the required answer. Dear students, I hope all of you have understood today's topic. Please do your assigned homework in your homework copy. 
you will be informed soon about the submission date of your homework. Keep practicing at home, stay safe, thank you all.